Boy, code your high flow. Uh huh. We are now alone in my thoughts. I don't know if anybody ever did this shit though. But we're, we're not coming from the heart anyway. I know, I know. It's easy for niggas just get on the mic and start spitting and shit. Joe Buttons did 10 minutes. My plan is to outdo him. You know? It's just it's so much that man. goes into songs like this. Uh, I've been saying the whole time, just wanting to um, express Check. real honesty. I was told like what you make it, and it's simple as that. To me, life a bitch, and ain't nothing simple about that. How could I tell you how it end if I don't know where it start? All I do is keep it real, so I'ma speak from the heart. Now I'd be lying if I told you that this shit ain't hurt. I found myself blaming God whenever shit ain't work. My sister used to say, pray, hey, put God first. Well, I've been praying every day, so when you win, God gon' work. I pride myself on making music that uh, people could relate to, people could feel. Just being as honest as I possibly can. Uh, I don't know about y'all, man, but growing up in my house, um, I was the youngest of three. And uh, the middle child, which was my sister, she um she was in the church real early in life, you know. She used to always tell me, like, Koja, you, you know, there's no need to be upset. Like, just pray, you know, the whole Christian way. Just anytime it's a problem, uh, any issue, it's just like pray on it, pray on it. And uh, at the time, you know, we were dealing with like real life situations. Uh, Ten years old, had already seen murders and death and all of these things. And for me, I'm like, where, where does life start? When does it begin? I mean, everybody's dying so young. Um, so, so that was always a tough thing. See, people ram up a real sick. I'm giving you some real shit. I wish that I was real rich. Cause broke, I can't deal with. Nah, you ever had somebody lie to you? And that same person that lied, they will ride for you. And that same person that ride, you seen them cry for you. I mean, I'm going through it now. What am I to do? I love you. I hate you. I need you. Forget you. Cross the line, bitch, and I wish I never met you. It's kind of personal for me, cause um, during the time I, I came up with this and, and putting these rhymes together, uh, I was confined to my house. I, you know, was in the streets, and uh, to the grace of God, I, I didn't have to go to jail, but I ended up, uh, you know, did a little bit of time in the county facility, and then um, I was then uh, put on house arrest. During this time, um, the person in my life is my significant other, my, my girl. Uh, you know, prior to going in the courtroom that day, you know, we, we had a discussion. And just because I knew what type of uh, strain this was going to put on that relationship, um, I asked her, you know, we don't want to do this. Like, you know, you go your way, I go my way. Due to the situation, it, it was changing, and uh, you know, she she looked me in my face, you know, with a face full of tears, crying like, you know, I'm gonna be here. And um, about four months into that sentence, um, you know, it went, things went left. And, uh, I guess long story short, she left. Doing too well. The hand. <laughs> Mr. Did it in the day, it's time for me to say the shit that you don't think I'm gonna say. Like, let me turn back the hands of time, take a condom off, and right now, a kid be mine. And if I. A lot of people are used to hearing me come on songs, and Mr. Nav, listen, I do the laugh and all of that. Mr. Did it in the day. And I just wanted to show everybody with these bars, like, no, nah, this ain't about that right now. Like, this is extremely serious. So, um, I took it from saying, you know, I'm gonna say the things that you don't think I'm gonna say. And at this time, uh, you know, the relationship I was in, uh, I, I just felt, you know, as far as being physical in a sexual way with somebody, when you consistently wear, you know, protection to, you know, make sure there's not a child or anything. You don't wanna bring a child in the world. Uh, but just the thought of, you know, 
a child could be created by just removing the condom. Um, and that's what I was trying to say there, just like, you know, I take a condom off right now and I'm a kid. If you don't like my brother, how the fuck you gon' love me? Huh? Cause I feel like we one and the same And not like Sonny and Shad or early Jig and Dame And tell death do its part, ain't nothing gon' change And I ain't gotta say no homo, cause I'm a real man uh -huh. I, I really feel like that whole thing with dudes that feel like they obligated to say no homo uh, After saying certain things, it's just crazy if anybody ever bothered with her, hope you real, let me get real honest with ya. I got this 4-5 that's tucked by my zipper, yeah. FYI, I call it my little blinker. For my moms or my sister, them shots gon' hit ya. My nephew or my nieces, you cutting the pieces. I'm beefing with everybody, including you, Jesus. Cause I remember times when my moms couldn't feed us. I said I'm beefing with everybody, including you, Jesus. Cause I remember times when my moms couldn't feed us. Uh, once again, me just trying to drill into the minds of the listeners that that's how serious I, I'm being about this. Like, I'm, I'm, I'm beefing with you, Jesus, because, like, we ain't had food. Like, th there were times when, you know, I mean, we had things, but it's just like, yeah, it's always the one for more. And it's like, uh, when you go into bed with, as they call it, missing meal cramps. And so it was just like at times I felt like, yo, I'm beefing with everybody, including you. He's like, you put me here. You, you put me in this position. You put my family in this position to be living like this. I'm a leader. Now try to understand how I was treated by my teachers. Since elementary, they showed no sympathy. If this was about my father, no need to mention me. Yeah, he my dad, but let me tell you why I'm mad. Growing up, yo, this dude was someone I never had. I mean, now that I'm grown, we be talking, y'all. But back then, we ain't never talk at all. My dad was this public figure who fought for black rights and um equality. And uh me and him ain't have a relationship. So uh teachers, you know, numb and dumb to that, I would go to school and they would, you know, literally take me by my hand and carry me to realm. Uh, class to class, asking the other teachers, you know who son this is, you know who son this is. Um, at the time, I didn't understand it, it was hard, man. Remember nights when my mama wanted to cry because we was barely getting by and her husband getting high. I still remember times going outside, and, you know, we live in this small neighborhood, this small community where, you know, everybody kind of knew everybody's business. So, the first chance somebody got to say, you know, that's why, that's why your mother husband on crack, that's why your mother boyfriend on crack, um, but in, you know, when I say she had three, uh, two were just boyfriends, and then one eventually ended up becoming her husband, I remember me and my sister and my grandmother and my brother, we, we like sit in the back at the wedding, like, no participation from us. Still kind of hurt me to this day because you know it's my mom and shit. Been there for on me, I ain't got no one to call. Now everybody know how much I kept it raw. I mean, everybody know how much I kept it raw. I love Millie, love Cell, love Trey, I love H, love Greeny, love Black, I love them all. Down a lot of people asking how they feel about me. I figure time will tell, so in a minute we'll see. There was a group of guys who I grew up with also doing music with and just living life with um and they're another rap group in the city of annapolis go by the uh, name of keep it raw um and um at, the, at this time we had started doing you know some of us was you know still in the city doing music um a few of us had moved away uh, and, and just doing their thing whether they um, in atlanta and philly and, you know, just grinding, and uh, you know, us not being as close as we once were, this really like drew, you know, a wedge because now we were, I mean, just being honest, like us together, we were the most like dominant, um, you know, rap group um, at that time, and uh, when I say dominant, I just mean by you know, 
putting out music, doing shows, and, and just doing things that everybody else wasn't doing. Wait, it gets worse. I've been screaming free my niggas, but that shit don't never work. So I no longer wear shirts that say free somebody. Cause wearing shirts ain't never free nobody. Now, now I heard some shit you never thought I would. And I saw some shit you never thought I should. And it hurt me like shit when I found out both. But all I can say is it's all good. So many things I gotta get through. 40, I miss you, dude. I miss you, Sue, woo, Sue, woo. To my niggas up above what it is because real. It's just so much that goes into songs like this. Uh, like I, I, I've been saying the whole time, just wanting to um, express real honest and uh, truthful thoughts. Uh, I spoke on my man uh, Buck 40 and Do in those bars. Um, two of my closest you know, friends. Um, are both no longer here um, who both committed suicide um, and like right after the other like it wasn't even a year apart when, when you know these things happened and uh, I mean I grew up with both of them I mean we literally uh, like the same exact football teams um, the same exact rappers basketball teams like we had so much in common that uh when I always think back and think about it it, it hurts because you know I, I had conversations with both of those guys uh, prior to uh you know their untimely deaths and it was like I mean we I mean days maybe a day maybe a hour, like hours before I had well, either seen him or had a conversation with him. Um, and these things always bother me because it's like, how come I didn't see? You know, how come I didn't know like they were going through that much? It's your boy Kojo High Flow, and this is my motivation. Listen, I just want to be free, alone by myself, so I can do me. It's so hard to maintain when it's stress on the brain, and people acting like you ain't the best in the game. I seen a lot of pain, I felt a lot of pain We all know that saying, when it pours it rains I mean when it rains it pours Sometimes it stops raining but it always rains more